We've noticed that there was a pretty high demand for ventilators and the state reached out to us um, and said, you know, one of the ways perhaps you guys can help us is that we've got a lot of ventilators that have been sitting around since about 2011. Um, you know, technically they're not uh, fit for use in the current state, but maybe you guys can fix them, uh, get them up to specification such that we can uh, deploy them for use, you know, amid this, this crisis. It's absolutely the right project for us to take on, but from an engineering standpoint, um, give me to the morning to figure out what we need to do, and I can tell you if we've got the technical capability to handle it. So uh, that night, I literally downloaded the service manual. It's a 345-page manual, very well written from Bayer. Studied it, figured out what the challenges would be in repairing these units, identified what engineering talent that we would need, and realized we had it all. It wasn't that different than what we do for fuel cells. We're averaging about 100 ventilators a day, being able to refurb, refresh, uh, validate, run them on a durability test, pack them back up, and send them to the hospital such that they're ready for use right when they pull them out of the box. Well, I think it's admirable that uh, many of these uh, private enterprises are rising to the occasion. The good news is that many of the American manufacturers have already uh, move forward, certainly the apparel manufacturers were the first one because they could make masks, they could make protective gear, and now with some of the manufacturers like automobile uh, are trying to also adjust their production equipment uh, to make uh, ventilators.